So hello everyone, I recently bought MacBook Air M2 two weeks ago on a student discount, not just on a student discount, but on a back to school deal. I bought it for even cheaper than MacBook Air M1. We'll talk about the discount and deals later, but before I really want to share, I am a big fan of M1 chip. I used MacBook Air M1 for more than one year and I edit, edited more than 150 videos, did coding, made Android apps and I did a lot of stuff on that cheapest possible MacBook Air and I was very happy with it. Now after upgrading to MacBook Air M2, what do you think? Students should spend 1,20,000 rupees in India or then $200 more in US or you should still go for MacBook Air M1. Let's talk about it in this video. So let's get started. So first of all, talking about the student discount, if you buy any kind of MacBook Air, irrespective of cheapest or this M2 MacBook Air, if you go to the Apple web page on a student discount page, on education discount page, you will see that it's first of all $100 cheaper. And on the top, you will see that if you buy it, you're eligible for up to $150 gift card. For, for MacBook Air M2, I got $150 gift card. You might be getting the same for MacBook Air M1 as well. So total mujhe pade for this MacBook around $1,200 after taxes and I got $150 gift card. So it costed me $1,050 because I can use that gift card immediately for Final Cut Pro, which is $200. Or you can pay for your subscriptions on your Apple account. You can do anything, you can gift it. You can do anything with your gift card. But this problem, in India, they don't give you a gift card. They give you either AirPods 3 or discount on AirPods Pro. So if you buy a bundle, you will first of all get 10,000 rupees discount on your MacBook Air M1 or M2. And you will be given an opportunity to get AirPods Pro or AirPods 3 on a great deal. So it could be a good combo, but I personally like the gift card because that's like real money in your hand, gives you the flexibility to buy anything you want to. And because of this discount, people might go for MacBook Air M2 easily because it could be cheaper than MacBook Air M1 without discount. If you have a discount, mil sakta. Agar aap ignore kar do. if you ignore the discount on M1 and just think about discount on M2, you will think it's cheaper than M1. But the discount is valid for both our MacBooks. You can go for any any MacBook regardless for the discount. Yeah, it feels more like, it feels like it's lighter, but it's not. Uh, now, number one benefit of getting MacBook Air M2 is you, you get a MagSafe port. Because of that, you get one port free. Jo MacBook Air, mein, if you're using one port for charging, then you will be left with only one port. That wasn't a problem for me because this MacBook charges really fast. I have a fast charger. It charges in one hour to one and a half hours with the fast charger. And I still had both the ports free in my previous MacBook Air as well. So it's like a minor benefit if you want to charge and use two ports. And Apple stickers also make a camouflaging effect. They are like 100% matching with this matte color. But it's very fingerprint magnety. It has more fingerprints I've ever seen on my MacBook Air M1. Number three benefit, bigger screen. So when you code, it has 0.3 inch bigger screen diagonally. So you can see more code when you're scrolling. It's just minor difference, but it does make a difference while you're programming just a little bit. Now we're talking about performance difference. Kafi logo nice my Minecraft the kill you. People are able to play Minecraft on this computer, on this MacBook Air M2 with 50% more smoother performance. Frame rate zada are as compared to MacBook Air M1, which is amazing. And if you have gaming, karni hai, for gaming, it is now possible to play games on MacBook M1 and M2 both, but on M2 even bigger, around 40 to 50% better performance. But to be honest, that performance might be on the most expensive version of MacBook Air M2, but still you will see around 20% improvement on this variant because this is the cheapest MacBook Air M2 I have bought. Or if you gaming, ki baat aati hai, it is really important to be secure on the internet. If you want to play multiplayer games on the internet, which you can do on MacBook Air M2, Remember to use a VPN and currently my favorite VPN is Surfshark just get through you can be secure on the internet no internet provider can steal your data they, they cannot see your browsing history they cannot see who are you talking to no one can steal your data and you will be secure and merely another benefit of using a VPN is that I can watch multiple libraries of Netflix Amazon Prime and most importantly Z5 
and Hotstar, which is cheaper in India, but I can get it at the same rate in India in the US. This is a big difference. 500 rupees for Z5 in India, you can get the same price in US, which is $50 if you don't use a VPN. So definitely try out. And if you will use my code, Sing in USA, you will get, first of all, three months free of this VPN on the top of 83% of discount. It's a limited offer. Definitely try it out with the link in the description below. Now, continuing with the performance, I get the point. It's faster. CPU is 20 to 40% faster. GPU is 20 to 40% faster, but it's slower as well. SSD speed is down by up to 50%. Many could transfer. I tried to transfer some files to SSD, read and write. It was taking four minutes on m2 and two to three minutes on m1 so it is a little bit slower and because of this there's one more disadvantage you will get so for example i told you in my previous videos that even though universities like georgia tech and top schools require you to have 16 gb ram and i always used 8 gb ram i was happy with 8 gb ram on m1 air do you know why because m1 air m2 air or m2 chip m1 chip they come with swap memory so currently 7.3 gb is full and 2.7 is swap memory so we are using more than 8 gb memory with final cut pro android studio and just google chrome itself let's say that i have 8 gb ram and i am full with that ram i use all of that ram now since it's a unified memory chip in one chip you have ram ssd everything together now the ssd can be used as ram so 8 gb is not limiting you but it's giving you advantage because of unified memory so it's a great architecture but because read and write speed is slow so agar up technically if you use 8 gb ram and now if you want to use swap memory and use ssd you will see the performance difference and i did see as well prove that i opened android studio final cut pro and xcode all three apps and when i was rendering i could see that the RAM is full and the laptop is really, really slow. So this is the point when the MacBook M2 lags. So now I have, oh, it is slow. See, up chal raha. So it is sometimes slow. And at this point, I have so many things open. I have Final Cut Pro. I have, oh, it's slow again. Come on, Kuja. Come on, come on. Yes, it is slow, but it's not that bad. Final Cut Pro, Android Studio, Chrome, uh, Xcode and Xcode simulator, Android Studio simulator, so many things open. And this video is also rendering on the side. Even then it can handle, but I feel sometimes that it's slower than M1 Air in SSD speed. And I didn't see any crashes frequently on M1 Air, but in the first week I could see that I can kill this MacBook Air in terms of RAM. If I push it, you can see that it's getting hard. The mouse becomes irresponsive, but it's only possible if you open too many apps and if you want to read and write too much data into SSD. One more problem that you can use maximum one additional monitor. So that's why one wide monitor is recommended. Otherwise, if you want to have another vertical monitor for coding, not possible. But Overall, in terms of our everyday life, in terms of programming, I don't think you will see any difference. Similar battery life as before, 18 hours of video playback, 10 to 12 hours rows nikal jayenge. You will not feel like charging and it's so light, it's even lighter than before. And now the webcam is 1080p, but not magically better than before. And it's so easy to carry. I personally love to use both MacBooks. Now I'm gonna keep both MacBook Air M2 and MacBook M1 Pro because I get the flexibility if I am taking my office laptop, I can take the lighter laptop. If I am not taking my office laptop for a trip, I can take my heavier MacBook M1 Pro. In my last video, I reviewed a 10,000 rupee laptop. After switching to MacBook and M2, I immediately coffee differences feel away. To explain that, I want to share the advantages you get by using Mac OS versus Windows. Number one, key up environment. You can set up the environment for coding immediately. Step one, Download Git, time out terminal, Git, and you will have Git immediately. Step two, get Visual Studio Code. For Python, Java, web development, and all kind of development, all kind of assignments, you just need one app, Visual Studio Code, and you're all set. You just add the plugins and you're set in one hour. Step three, download a cloud storage like iCloud, Dropbox, Google Drive. So your coding files are in that folder. Even if you lose your laptop, your files will be in the cloud. 
स्टेप फोर मैकबुक में ऑटो मैक्सिमाइज टूल नहीं है सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मैक्सिमाइज ऑन द साइड एंड ऑन ऑन द टॉप सो जस्ट ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप करके अगर आपको करना है वो नेचुरली मैकबुक में नहीं होता बट आफ्टर डाउनलोडिंग बट आफ्टर डाउनलोडिंग बेटर टच टूल यू कैन मैक्सिमाइड इज सो ये छोटे छोटे स्टेप्स करने के बाद यू आर रेडी विद द डेवलपमेंट एनवायरमेंट फॉर फॉर योर कोडिंग फॉर योर प्रोजेक्ट्स रियली फास्टर एज कम्पेयर टू विंडोज आई आई थिंक क्योंकि मैकबुक इतनी ज़्यादा फास्ट है ओपन होने में भी विद इन वन सेकेंड लगता है सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट I was able to, you know, set up the environment around one hour faster on MacBook. So, ये काफी difference पड़ जाता है if you're using MacBook versus Windows. So, ये मेरे लिए बहुत बड़ा advantage है. And because of that advantage, I feel like MacBook is worth it because you can set up your environment quickly. It is Unix based. Because of Unix based, Android Studio is two to three times faster than Windows because Android is Unix based. Mac OS is Unix based. So, Unix Unix. क्योंकि ये थोड़े क्लोजर रिलेटेड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम है तो डेवलपमेंट फास्टर होती है इट्स फास्टर डेवलपमेंट एक्सपीरियंस ऑन यूनिक स्पेक्स फॉर एंड्रॉइड एप्स ऑल द यूनिक स्पेस्ड एप्स सो दैट्स व्हाई दिस होल इकोसिस्टम मेक्स इट वर्थ इट एवरी एंड्रॉइड डेवलपर आई नो यूजेज मैकबुक एवरी आई ओस डेवलपर कैन ओनली यूज अ मैकबुक सो दी स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग्स मेक्स अ होल एक्सपीरियंस मच बेटर सो दैट्स वाई इट्स काइंड ऑफ वर्थ इट एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ माई एक्सपीरियंस इन टर्म्स ऑफ जी पी यू लाइक अगर आप विडियो रेंडर करो इफ यू आर एक्सपोर्टिंग अ विडियो आई वॉज रियली हैप्पी विद मैकबुक एयर एम वन इट यूज टू एक्सपोर्ट माई विडियोज इन थ्री मिनट्स फॉर टेन एटी पे विडियो एंड दिस कैन डू इट इन टू एंड हाफ मिनट्स सो इट्स इट्स रियली अमेजिंग फॉर मी टू सी दैट माइनर माइनर जम्प्स एंड इट इज नॉट रियली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी सो फॉर अ स्टूडेंट लाइक यू आई विल स्टिल से गो विद द एम वन मैकबुक एयर बिकॉज इट कैन डू एवरी थिंग वॉट दिस मैकबुक कैन डू एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो यूज इट फॉर मोर देन वन ईयर फॉर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी विडियोज फॉर कोडिंग एवरी थिंग यू वॉन्ट यू कैन डू इजिली ऑन मैकबुक एयर एम वन द ओनली रीजन टू अपग्रेड टू दिस इज that you can play games with more frame rate you can have little bit jump in performance like save 30 to 1 minute in video rendering 30 seconds in android studio project building 30 seconds up to 30 seconds so if you upgrade you can save little bit of time but that time is very negligible according to me so that's why i'll recommend all the students to go with macbook air m1 otherwise go with even a windows laptop i reviewed in the last video it was worth it as well so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye